Hey guys, have you ever brushed yarn? Well, this is my first time. Um, I'm making a squirrel tail and I'm trying to get it bushy. So I do know that it is recommended you get a like a dog brush with metal spikes. Well, I don't have one and I don't get out that often. So I know I'm not going to town anytime soon to buy a dog brush. So, I looked through my um, bathroom drawers, and I found a brush that no one uses anymore. It's just a brush that probably came from Dollar Tree or Walmart or something. And I'm just using that brush, brushing out this yarn. So, basically what it's doing is it is um, taking a strand of yarn, which you can do on your own without brushing, but it would take a long time for this much yarn. And then it's just separating these pieces like that. So basically, that's what it's doing. But you're just doing a bunch at a time. On smaller projects or doll's hair or things like that that I've done, I have done this plenty of times where I want to separate the strands and make it bushy looking. But... I wasn't about to do that for this whole project because this is a lot of yarn. So I think though I'm going to come back up here to the top and just get this top part and try to make sure those are done. And then add more into it down the, as I go down. It does take a little strength to do this, <laughs> but it's kind of satisfying seeing it all fluff up like that. Basically, it looks kind of matted, but I guess that's the look I'm going for. I'll try to get this section right here. <laughs> it's gonna wear my arms out so it may take me a while to get this done Wow, yeah, so it kind of looks matted, but um, I guess that's the look I'm going for, for my squirrel tail. So I'm just going to keep brushing. And then every now and then, I guess I'll clean all this out. <laughs> so that's what I pulled out.
when I get my project done I am going to hot glue my tail on the project so I did leave a space to put hot glue so it will connect really well so here's the body of my squirrel and I'm gonna hot glue it on like this so yeah I got a lot of brushing to do here don't I See how that just unraveled and kind of matted up there? It takes a lot of strength to do this. I mean, I'm weak, so it may just be me, but it is taking all my strength. So let me know below if you have ever brushed yarn and what project was you making that had you to brush yarn. Well, does it look squirrely? <laughs> oh, goodness. This is the part that will show when it's on like this. So that's the part that will show looking at the squirrel like that. So I wanted that part done really well. And then here's the back part that's a hot, hot mess. So I'm just going to keep going. I might have to get myself a mint. Here we go. I think it brushes a lot better right after I clean the brush out. Could be my imagination. <laughs>
I'm trying to go back in and get the under layers that might have not have got brushed out well. thought I'd be brushing yarn. Well, it's looking pretty. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like blending that cream and the orange together pretty. And I probably am going to take the scissors and kind of trim this up some when I get it all brushed out and done. Wow, that is pretty for a squirrel's tail. I have a few strands here that just are not doing. So I think I'm going to separate those myself. Well, I'm going to be honest. I can't even see. It's easier just to brush it. Here's the back side of the tail. And then that's the front side that will be facing the project. And then that's the back side. 
All right, so I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to go back in for different layers of it. Just make sure I've got it um, brushed out well in there. And then I'm going to take the scissors and kind of just trim it up. So thank you for watching me brush yarn. That's different. <laughs> I'll see you all again soon. Bye, friends.